Hey YouTube Gundam here and welcome back to Space Engineers. I can't believe I haven't done this yet, but I'm gonna make a video of my vanilla Catan class destroyer from Star Wars. In the background is my uh two fifths scale Earth Space dock that I've been requested to build. But nah. This thing's basically vanilla, this is vanilla, this thing's basically vanilla except for a Titan engine. Gonna take a quick look see around. First, you're going to notice on the front is all the missiles. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> right, there's a bit of heavy armor on the front. And a nice little walkway going on. And you'll obviously see from the front a lot of guns shooting at you, but it's mainly these missiles. But going along the side, you see guns, 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 and more guns. It is a destroyer. It's supposed to be packed with guns. Uh, it does have two wings from what I could find, and this wing has a few decoys to make you shoot at it with no armament, a uh, couple of antennas, just for the heck of it, a nice uh, universal idea. I saw this on um, XP Gamers, I think. Uh, actually, that reminds me, I need to check if they're doing a live stream today. If so, I'm going to send them this somehow, get their attention on this, I don't know. Um, yeah. So, I see this a few times on theirs, and Sage, um, so there's that. Other than that, uh, yeah, obviously it's a destroyer, so it's going to be well armed. Guns just everywhere. I don't think there's any rocket turrets on this, I can't remember. The uh, underside of this has loads of decoys, because these are designed, the wings are designed for you to blow them off. They have nothing critical, just a couple of guns on this one and nothing on that one is designed for you to shoot at that instead of the ship now otherwise going around the ship you have the command bridge up there the uh... bit for i'm not sure what this is it's just in the uh... build so i built it but you have the engine bit which that there is the only thing not vanilla there's a titan engine everything else is vanilla and should work in survival it just needs a lot of ammo and fuel so yeah lots of engines everywhere obviously but notice there's engines to the left and the right and obviously going that way, but what about the others? They're inside the ship. They're obviously not outside. A uh, laser antenna up there. And some hydroponics bays on the outside, along with a bit of detailing, not much. So let's uh, go inside of the ship. Oh yeah, the underside, I forgot to mention, it has a hangar. Although you can't close it all the way, that's okay. The hangar has some nice uh, repair facilities, several places for fighters and a shuttle or something. A place to get through the ship there. And this hangar is all heavy armor blocks. The rest, not so much. Um, I'm going to be linking the other two versions of the Katarn Destroyer here. So, yeah. Uh, the other versions, it's, it'll be very similar, but a little different. You know, if you fly in from... Let me slow myself down here. Here we go. Going in from the main airlock, this should be recognizable. Turret, hello. Going this way, some turrets, a couple of big reactors, but there's turrets. This is pressurized. Going forward, we have the a couple more reactors, but good luck at getting to these. What is that connected to? I forget. Oh yeah, they're connected to over there. So yeah, and each other. Sorry. Now, going again forward, uh, from here, should have done that really. I don't remember if this area is pressurized or not, but you have a pair of jump drives sitting there with a gravity generator, some gyroscopes, not many, but there's a few. And to get to there, you don't jump up, you have to go around to the forward cargo container. Again, it should be very similar to the other ones, a couple of guns there to say hello, just a nice little present. It is a destroyer, but it's designed also for some boarding action. So yes, you have the two forward jump drives there right by one of the Ford, in fact they're right below that gun there, that's the Ford most top gun they're sitting right there and there's those two reactors now some batteries hiding in the wall here along this area they had to be broken apart to get the guns so that's just batteries now the underside I believe doesn't have much not for now at least here we are so this is uh, from this door again right by these two reactors uh, with those two here I know I zip all around, but going this way, this is where the other engines are, at least some of them. 
obviously these are for left and right I same as the bag but those are actually to stop the ship we've got some cargo containers some more guns more guns and as for getting in that's actually down here come through here and you're in this area which is not air well it, okay it is to air type but yeah spotlight in your face so cargo containers lots of thrusters going through you have on either side the gyro rooms right by those big old thrusters there you have a ton of gyros there and same on the other side there we go but now where am I I'm lost going through here you have a couple of gyros and going up there's oxygen and this room is vented but there's nothing else in here I designed this room to be you can customize it mainly just put an oxygen generation or something come through though and this is why but we'll get to that in a second going through here some more gyros some more gyros you can't get to all of them just about but there's actually quite a few hiding all around so yeah you can't get to all of them but you can get to a lot now going up we have the upper area which leads to here this is what are these oxygen this is the main oxygen storage and hiding right by those oxygen tanks you can see is an oxygen generator and there's one of the gyro rooms that's the port side gyro room so here's oxygen storage with oxygen generation and a lot of nuclear reactors and cargo also hydrogen this hydrogen is here primarily as fuel for fighters the ship doesn't actually use hydrogen thrusters that goes to the other side of the ship in case you want to access it and go up here the rear jump drive I want to make sure you can move this ship along with gyros now yes you can fly up to that but yeah some gyros hiding here you head down here don't get burned by the thrusters but here's the up and down thrusters this is right on the side of the ship up and down with more side to side thrusters and more reverse engines this ship shouldn't burn itself? I don't know for certain. Yes, you can access it. Uh, I believe I have most of the ship accessible from one door or another. Going down, where are we? Let's go back to that room. Here we are. So yes, this big old room here. Very easy. It's pretty empty. This should hopefully work with thruster damage enabled. I don't know. Haven't tested it. My computer doesn't like testing things like that apparently go figure strong end computer not that strong walk along here you get to view the Titan engine and you can actually enter in through this door to work on it if you so desire big old glass there so yeah don't get burned if they're doing maneuvers <laughs> now if you uh, head down this way yes you can hop up to there which will get you down around here to access more gyros. Uh, not sure where you go to this door from, but oh, this door. Oh, it's hiding. You can see it's hiding there. That's why it's there. So you can get to everything just by using the gyro. I mean the gravity generators. So in here is the forward area with some gyros, and it is pressurized. Going down here, we have going forward and up more guns pressurized area definitely pressurized and more guns and look at this that's actually the airlock going the other way going the other way you have access to part of engineering through there or go down and over down again and a ways and we've got some choices here you go this way first this leads to well there's a pad there this is actually a double door with a way going up there. This leads to the port side crew quarter, well, crew cryo unit. Now we're going to go over here because I say so. A couple batteries, and this leads, I believe, to the other end of the ship. Yes, it does. Which means down here, it's been a while since I built this ship. Down here we have rear nuclear reactors and cargo. Yeah, that's right in the middle of the ship. Nuclear reactors and cargo. So look for those batteries to find that going up. There's the cryo units. Now go up here. 
And we've got some choices. This, I believe, is that area. So the stairs are pretty much useless there, but eh, it's, it's a nice touch. This is the Titan engine. So there's where the Titan engine is. Now, go in here, you have a ton of guns, which leads to the hangar. So that's how you access the hangar. You got all those big guns, you come through, you come through, there's Titan engine. And you have a choice, go backwards, go down, or to here is a medical room just above the cryostasis, I believe. And so in case somebody has to come out from the hangar in a hurry to go to medical, they can. I know this ship is a little confusing, but it's actually a lot easier than a lot of my other builds. Now, heading up this turbo lift, basically, you come to here, which is a nice airlock and a nice big old room there's a few guns there's a lot of guns actually and it's pressurized leading up to an airlock I believe no oh yeah sort of this is actually where the Ford gyro is I mean the gravity gyro excuse me and that is the lower end of here which is this leads through and then up to the bridge with the beacon and here is the bridge So yeah, it is a little confusing on the inside, but trust me, it's a lot better than it was. Now, what is through here? I forget. Oh yes, oxygen and more oxygen. So that's what that is. There's some gyros hiding in here. Lots of gyros hiding. Basically, you just need to find key areas you can find anywhere. The Titan engine is pretty obvious. So from the airlock, to get to the bridge, you go from the airlock, you go through it, take a turn, head down, down again, down again. The airlock is far away from the bridge, and you just take that turbo lift up. That's it, you're done. Takes up one level and go through here, and there's your hangar. Or don't, and just take this all the way up, and you got the bridge. Let me jump to my character here. That's bright. I'll um, show you what this can do. Uh, bong. <laughs> yeah, it is a little confusing, but I thought it'd be nice to have a ship where you can actually co uh, ac uh, access all the stuff. Normally, I have a ship and you can't access everything. There's always a room that is not accessible. This time I decided to make everything accessible, or almost all of it. Normally everything is hiding inside. Not this time. This stuff's actually around, so. I bo oh yeah, I forgot. I'm an idiot. There is a uh, airlock right by the bridge. I could've just flown through there instead of flown through the ship. I'll show you that in a second. There it is. That's an airlock. That's actually for the... So you don't have to fly through the entire ship. Uh. <laughs> Come on, you little... These doors are kind of a problem. There we go. Finally! Alright. So button one will control the uh, hangar doors. Button two is some of them spotlights, not many. Button three is the welders. Button four is the Ford camera right by the weapons. Oh, did it really? Oh, I had my other groups actually functioning. They don't work. Yeah. Well, that's okay. This was from the original, so that doesn't really. The point of those other groups was to. Uh, get the other weapons to work which were non vanilla so I apologize for that I suck I know but I've been making this video because I forgot a while ago so let's uh, show you what we can do going which the maneuverability first off rotate uh, I mean I've seen faster but then again think of the weight of this thing 18 million eight hundred thousand kilos so 18 million kilos, eh, it's not a slouch. Oh, the missiles aren't even. 
Uh, I do apologize for that. Uh, <laughs> that's the missiles. <laughs> so, yeah, it's quite deadly. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's deadly. So, I do apologize for that. Um, so, moving to the right here, there's five meters a second. There's ten. And we're going to stop. It's not a slouch, but it's not very fast. It's 18 million kilos empty. Going up. Two, three, five, ten. Now, reverse is going to be a little different. You're going reverse. Here's five, ten, and fifteen. But forward. Keep an eye on it. Three, two, one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. <laughs> Big old Titan engine. <laughs> this ship is meant to go fly through an enemy fleet, do as much damage as you can flying through it, and then afterwards you uh, just leave, basically, and leave death and destruction in your wake. It can be used as frontline assault, but I intended this version. It is not the Hall of the Kataran Destroyer. I called it the Kataran Destroyer. It's based on something else. But this version is intended for you to, you know, besides using it as survival as a heavy combat ship, is burn clean through an enemy fleet with that Titan engine and don't even stop and just let your guns riddle everything in bullet holes. You can ram things, I suppose, using the wings, but. Eh. So yeah, um, please take a look at my other videos. Um, now what about Cap what about XP gamers? What are those guys doing? Oh, they just started their lives. I gotta go. Um, I apologize again for not putting the missiles in there, but they just started their live stream two minutes ago. I gotta go.